Many people have asked me to make a guide on how to maximize cooking. Now, the problem with that request is that the market is ever-changing, and so if I were to make a guide on how to maximize cooking, you would look at the numbers and they would be wrong because the market fluctuates constantly, especially if you're playing on the East Coast server, the market will be completely different than the West. So what I'm going to do in today's video is teach you how to max out your cooking and how to do the math to max out your cooking. So for those that don't know, when you open your destiny board and you go straight down, you encounter the cooking tree. So cooking is interesting because it has nine different nodes, which is more than any other crafting node. And, you, and if you maximize all of them, anything that you cook will have the lowest possible focus cost because every time you max out like soup chef, salad chef, pie chef, it does lower the focus cost if you wanted to, say, craft stews. So, chef, the chef, the cooking profession in this game is by far one of the most foolproof, best ways that you can possibly make silver in this game, but it is also one of the hardest to maximize. It is very time-consuming and very, very expensive, alright? And I'm going to teach you the absolute best way to save yourself time, silver, and to get everything maxed out as efficiently as possible. So step one is going to be to determine the best item to craft in each category. So if we go down here and we look, there are, well, nine categories. You have like the salad chef, the soup chef, and so on. So what? It, let's say we wanted to level soup chef. Well, you got to go through here and you got to look at everything labeled as a soup. So we have, that's a stew, that's a stew, and that's a stew. There's no tier four soups. Alright, so we're going to go to tier 5, and we have cabbage soup. There's a soup. We have black bog clam soup. Alright, that's a soup. Those are stews. Uh, those are stews, and it looks like, yeah, there's not a lot in soups. So, it's basically just two things, essentially. I know there's more than that, but, it's, but we're going to just figure out on these two for now as an example. So, what we would do is we would get 144 cabbages and we would craft ourselves a cabbage soup, and we would see how much fame do we get for crafting that soup. And then we would do the same thing with the black bog clam soup, and this one obviously is going to cost us more, I believe, because like this is like, what, 4,000? Well, maybe. It's it's really dependent, okay? Uh, 384 times. You have to do a lot of math, okay? You're going to have to do a lot of math, and you're going to have to find out which one of these soups are cheaper to craft, but which one gives more fame, and then you have to divide the cost of crafting it. Um, not only do you have to take the, the, the cost of crafting the soup, you then minus that amount by how much it's going to sell for, because you're going to sell all these things back to make some of your money back, right? Or you can keep it, which would be really expensive. But essentially, you're going to craft these items, and then you're going to minus the amount that you would sell it for, and that will give you your total. All right, and then you will take that 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 silver amount and divide it by how much fame you earned. So just for example, if cabbage soup, crafting it gives you a thousand fame, but black bog clam soup gives you two thousand fame, and then after you subtract the amount it sells for and then the cost of the materials, the one with the lower silver cost is going to be better because you want to spend as little as possible to make as much fame as possible. There's also the opportunity that if soup is really cheap, that you don't even craft it, you just buy the soup, and then you do the math to see if it's cheaper to buy the soup and then study the soup at the crafting bench. So that's the first step that you have to do. And then you have to do the math of, well, how much fame does it take to level up to 100? So you're going to see how much you have to craft to do that. And let me show you an example. So if I wanted to level butchery, this is an old example, and this is not current to the game. This is from two... Th these are formulas and numbers from two years ago, and they do not apply to the current iteration of the game. So this is just a raw example, okay? So we have butchering chicken, which we need to take a chicken, take it to a butcher, and then chop it up into chicken meat. To do that, I have to pay the butcher 470 silver, which is the crafting cost. It will give me 720 fame, and the chicken itself costs 7,100, all right? So, that means I have to craft or butcher 5,606 chickens to maximize butchery. That crafting cost is 2.6 million, and the chickens, just to buy the chickens to butcher them, will be around 40 million, 
okay? Now, I can sell the raw chicken meat back, so, you know, I, I didn't do the math on that screen. Uh, but essentially, just to max this out, before selling the materials back, on just one of nine of these uh, cooking sections, this one in particular will cost 42 million. 437,420 silver. Again, this was back in the day. The prices are all different now. But essentially, when I checked every single meat that I could butcher at that time period, back in the day, in like 2021 or something, it was chickens. Because chickens were the cheapest and gave the most fame, essentially. So, there you go. Now, I want to mention there is a rich way to do this, a poor way to do this, and a way to do this and profit. However, the way to profit and maximize your cooking will take a very long time, possibly one to two real life years to do. So let me explain the quick, the rich method. The rich method is that you have 200 million silver on West. I don't know what it will be on East. And you just go to the market and you just buy everything you need and you haul it on a mammoth and then you take it to all the crafting benches in town, and you're going to need six of these, okay? You're going to need six cooks with full food. That one has half food, and they have to be reasonably priced. That one has 23%, uh, 40 uh, so yeah, I like if you were if I was going to max cooking in Bridgewatch, the, the stations, I wouldn't be able to max it out in a single day. And it takes six hours of nonstop cooking from zero to 109 times over. And like I said, Bridgewatch simply does not have the benches with enough food in them to even sustain all of the cooking. But that's the rich way. You would just go straight up buy the ingredients and then cook them and then worry about selling them later. That's, you know, for big money bags people. The second way is instead of just going and buying the ingredients, what you do is you focus on one at a time. So we used butchery as an example. So let's say I wanted to max out butchery, which is, uh, where is it at? I think it's butcher right here. It's over here, very end. What I would do is I would go to the market and I would place buy orders for chickens. So let me show you, well, I really should have been mounted and more prepared. So give me a second to get to town so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about and how much you can save. I don't know what the chicken market looks like and we're going to learn this together. So, you're going to be placing buy orders for chickens, and this will take you a very long time. This uh, will take you at least a month or longer to continuously get these buy orders, just to have enough chickens to max out butchery, but it will save you money. So, let's go to chicken, and I don't want a roast chicken, I want a whole chicken, so I'm going to go to... I don't know what category... Uh, animal, there we go, we want a chicken. Chickens are currently 7,678. Looking at my notes, chickens back then, two years ago, were 7,100. So they went up by about four, 500 silver. Okay. But if you look here in Bridgewatch, the biggest buy order for chickens is 7,000. So, what you would need to do, and remember, you're going to need, and this is not on Fame Week. If you wait till, I'm going to talk about Fame Week later. But you need 5,606 of these chickens, okay? So, 5,606 chickens. And uh, if you buy, if you put it out at the maximum buy order right now, you're going to pay 40 million for it, okay? But if you were to just straight up buy the ingredients, or I'm sorry, hold on. We need how many again? 5,000, uh, I got it in my notes, 500, 606. And that could be wrong now because values have changed over time, mind you. 7,679. So, essentially, by by taking a month to use buy orders, I'm saving 4 million silver, which to, honestly is not that much if you're rich, but 4 million silver is 4 million silver. And then there's an even better way to do it, and this is the method that will take 1 to 2 years, is you have to have active premium for this, and you'll have a resource called Focus, and you will only focus craft chickens okay and let me just show you right now how long that would honestly take I'm, i bought a chicken for you guys okay we're gonna go kill a chicken on this video i'm sorry for everyone out there but I'm, I, I have to show you and this is this is why i save my focus i don't have premium active i'm not gonna have it for a while and this is a huge waste of my uh my my, my character's focus but whatever it's it's for the video it's for a good cause i don't like bogle because he's a game master, so I'm not going to buy from his stall. I'm going to go to 
I'm actually gonna pay more money to this guy, because I just really don't think he's a good person. He, he, here's the thing with Bogle, okay? This guy runs the Albion Online Twitch um, channel, and they do like the Crystal League tournaments and crap, and anyone that said my name in his chat during the Crystal League finals, ba he banned them. Or, or somebody banned them, okay? One of, somebody that, that operates one of the mods that operates that Twitch stream would ban every mention of my name. So, screw you, you're not getting my money, Bogle. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually not skilled enough to butcher... This is not a butcher, this is a cook. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so here's the butcher. Anyway, we'll, we'll go we'll go over here in the corner. Actually, there's some down here. That's too pricey. We'll go to crazy... I don't think his is open to the public, actually. Yeah, I know, my video's kind of all over the place, but, you know, it's... <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the butcher now. And, uh, raw chicken, okay? Because I don't... Because this character has no chef skills at all. To butcher one raw chicken is going to cost me 603 focus. Okay? And I'm gonna get some chicken back, right? I'm going to get a little bit more chicken back than normal. So right now, looking at my estimated market value, 7,264. We're going to focus butcher the chicken. There we go. And now we're worth 10,043 silver. So uh, that's, you know, we made, what, 3,000 silver? But it costs 600 focus, which is horrible. So I don't remember the exact amount of focus it cost. But um, essentially, 10,000 divided by 600, that means we can only butcher 16 of these a day. <laughs> we can only butcher 16 chickens a day. So uh, we need 5,606 chickens, right? So that means uh, 16 a day. That's 350 days. That's a whole year of <laughs> having premium to max out just butchery. So, I don't recommend that, because <laughs> you have to max out all nine of them, alright? It's uh, it's pretty brutal. But hey, we got some raw chicken here, you know, and we made profit, though it did... Oh, it's too much focus. It's it, it's way too much. And even, you may think, well, what if I just leveled it up to 50, and then I use my focus, okay? Yeah, and you and you may be right, you know, that may be, be a better way to do it. J just to show you, I, I'm just, I just want to show you real quick, just how... How crazy it gets. I'm just gonna sell order these for that. Everything? And uh, I'm gonna switch characters to my chef and show you how um, how much little focus it costs for a master chef to butcher a chicken. So here we are on the Chef Swolbenji character. This character is absolutely a beast. Look at his cooking. Everything is maxed out. It is it's so beautiful to have. And we have ourselves a chicken here. We're, we're at the butcher. And butchering this chicken only costs 17 focus. That means we can, every single day, we can butcher 588 chickens. So let's see how much profit that would be. I'm just curious. I like to do this math because, you know, my chef character is pretty cool. 7264 silver. And then with 17 focus. And it costs 270. So um, we're going we're, we're gonna to go ahead and... Um, Add that to uh, our, the amount of silver, making 7,534. And there we go. We we butchered some chicken, and now we're going to subtract that by 10,043, which is a 2,509 silver profit times 588. So if we were to just butcher chickens on this character every day, he makes 1.4 million silver. Just chopping up little chickens. 1.4... Forever. This character can forever generate 1.4 million silver every single day just by murdering chickens, okay? And if I owned my own butcher, um, then I could I, I could skip that little that little fee I had to pay. Um, <laughs> and, but also, it, it gets even better because if the activity is a 20% food day, then I would get even more chicken from the butchering. Uh, which I guess it's just a really lean chicken with no fat on it or something. I don't know. But um, that would be even more profit than what we just made. So it is absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt worth your while to maximize cooking. And I'm going to tell you right now, butchering chicken is terrible for chefs. One, um, This guy, yeah, 1.4 million silver per day sounds amazing. I'm sure it does. But that is low. We can, co we can cook way better things for way better profit. For less focus, okay? Just telling you right now. Anyway, let's get back to uh, learning how to maximize your cooking. Now, the other thing you could do is study. However, 
Uh, butchery, there is no way to study that. So this is something you actually have to buy and butcher and do. Uh, but other things, like if you go to a chef's uh, actual chef area here, we'll go down to Prime G and his little cooking area, then you can just buy the food, and then you go here to this tab and you click study, and you have to do the math on the cost of just buying the food, which honestly, what you can do is you just go to Care Leone, right? Because they have the cheaper food. All food is much cheaper in Care Leone. Uh, not so much chickens, but just uh, completed food in general. Uh, and, and speaking of butchering chicken, I could transport it from here to Care Leone because it's a raw ingredient, and raw ingredients are highly in demand in Care Leone. So that's another thing that you could possibly do as well. Uh, let me just throw this mount back, and I can even show you the profit margins of that. Uh, let's see. Oh, everything's different now. I don't need to go to the mills. I need to go to um, the island. Now, uh, this char this is a chef character, so he has he has a mill. He has a private island for mills, because sometimes cities don't have mills, and, well, he's a chef, so sometimes he needs to mill some things. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a... There's one mill, but it's out of food. So, yeah, Ridgewash has only one mill. This is why, as a chef, you're going to need some more personal islands for things. But... You're going to have to level these up nine times, and you're going to make a lot of the money back doing it, okay? Even without the focus crafting that I'm showing and explaining to you right now. Just butchering chicken in general without focus. Like, I, I should have bought another chicken and butchered it just to show you that sometimes you get a little bit more, but not all the time. Alright, so we're back on the Soul Benji character, and we're, go we're going to chop chicken again and without focus. So, right now, we have 7,264... And then add another 270, that's like 7,500 something. And then we're going to craft it. And it looks like uh, we ended up with a little bit more at 7,965. So what this means, technically, and, and this is rare, it doesn't happen that often. But it, you, you really got to check the market and do some tax math on it. But essentially, you can buy chickens right now because they're, I guess, cheap enough or that raw chicken is in higher demand, that I can just butcher chickens and still make a profit. When this happens, that is when opportunity strikes. And most of the time, bots figure this out, and people that do lots of spreadsheets figure this out, and third-party program users. But Albion's kind of a weird state right now, where a lot of those people have moved on to more advanced games because of the in massive crackdown on RMT. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is that right now, as of filming this video, uh, maybe. Let's see. Let's let's go to the sell tab and see if we can actually make that. If we just raw sell, we lose money. If we sell order, we technically still lose money. But I bet if I took this to Care Leone, it would be profit. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we technically only lose, like, five to six hundred. So, what is that? Six hundred times five thousand six hundred six. So, it, it would only, technically, right now, if there were enough chickens in the market... It would only cost us 3,363,000 silver to maximize butchery. So that's not bad, but that, that doesn't always happen. Alright? That, that is not always something that can, that can happen. You just have to really check the markets. So that will save you a lot of money if you happen to be in an advantage, advantageous situation. And I doubt the East server will be like that for quite a while. But if you wanted to risk it... You can go to Care Leone and you could turn a profit even without focus. But that's just how cooking works. So that's all I've got about how to cook and how to maximize your cooking without breaking the bank. Or you're, you're technically going to have to break the bank. Let's just be real. Let's just be honest, okay? Uh, so if you want to max out your chef, and it, this works with everything technically. Like, it's just, it's actually cheaper to max out like potion crafting, but it's more expensive to craft potions. Uh, food is just foolproof. Like, the market has never crashed on this. The market is still crashed on potions, I think. I checked it in an earlier video I made today, and potions were actually kind of pricey. Like, let me just pull one of these out here. This is my main, uh, export. And it shows they're 890 silver. Which means, hey, that's pretty good. But it's still not good enough to justify me getting premium for 17.5 million silver. That's... I'm not going to make much of that money back, even with the focus. But my chef character could. It's just a lot of work, and I'm lazy, and I don't have much reason to play the game right now. But regardless, you know, once you level up that chef character, you'll be raking in money. So the more chefs you have, and chefs are always in demand. If I, if I could go back in time and turn back the clock in the past three years I've played this game, 
I would just have nine chef characters <laughs> and nothing else. I wouldn't craft weapons, armors, or, or, or even gather. I would just cook on nine separate characters, and I would be a billionaire a month. <laughs> like, no, no kidding. Oh, man. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got. Uh, hopefully this taught you how... It, the method is to, you know, level up your cooking in the most cheapest, most efficient way possible that suits you. Please don't ask me to do the math for you because I'm not going to. You're going to have to manually do it yourself and figure out all of that stuff. But I, I taught you how to do the math. So now you're good to go. It's just a little bit of brain work. Just open a notepad on your computer, type some numbers in uh, based on your research, and then get cracking at it. Okay, guys? So... I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be able to say Soul. I don't know if I said that already, but on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If this video helped you out big time, then at the bottom left side of your screen, there is a join button. You, it's five bucks a month. Go ahead and click that, and you'll get access to private, more personal videos, guides that are too good for the public, money-making methods too good for me to show on the regular channel here. And uh, it's, it's, it's just like Twitch. You know, you go to Twitch, you subscribe to someone, five bucks to support them. It's it's on YouTube. It's the same thing, but you get those private videos, access to them at least. With that said, thank you so much. Click the video on the right. Make sure you're subscribed. I read every comment. Join the Discord if you want to play games with me, and I'll see you in the next video.